Alright, what is up guys? It is me, Shadows, coming at you with a brand new video. Uh, I did a previous one, it was all shaky, shaky, so I'm gonna try to keep this one nice and, uh, nice and still. So this is a battle with my friend King Mel, or Chris, uh, he's a good friend of mine, uh, we met on, like, a stream, we started doing FFAs, and he's getting into YouTube, and link in the description below, go show him some love. New to the Pokemon scene, this man's a badass. So this is actually a battle that took place a while ago. Uh, using the same team I had from my previous video. Um, but this battle was just a lot of fun. And I was like, man, I, sh I should just do this. So I'm going to hit play real quick. So let me turn up this volume so y'all can hear something. Alright, there he is. My man Chris. My man King Mel. Bringing down his, his, his diggers be... He's nice and powerful diggers be so I started off with Finn, no surprise. Um y'all saw him last time, y'all know his power. So I'm pretty sure he's just gonna stealth rocks on me, I'm gonna stealth rocks on him. Ain't nothing but a thing. Although then I'm like, oh wait, this is a diggers be. So he has yet to see what I have. I'm just gonna get the rough skin. Oh, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Oh, but that that Rocky Helm. But he's getting he's now a plus one diggers be, which is a problem, so I'm gonna have to brick break this man real quick. Man, and he lives with that clean one HP, and I was, <laughs> I was not, I was not happy with that. Let's just say that he goes up for the another power up punch. Um, I'm not sure why he's going for so many power up punches, considering he knows my damage. But he gets killed real quick. I'm like time, time for you to take a nap, Diggers. You, you need to take a break. You drunk, you drunk, thinking you can set up on Finn over here. It's, this man doesn't let people set up that easy. So this is a Greninja, so I know that in no universe am I going to live a uh, Ice Beam. So I'm going to switch out real quick, and I'm going to go to Noodles. Now, Noodles has actually been substituted for a different poke as of late. Um, nice and powerful Duskinor, because um, I just love Duskinor. But Noodles, Noodles is power. So we're going to switch out his Greninja. He's seen Noodles a few times in life. So here's the problem. we got Red Raider here, who's Steel-type. So Red Raider is, is a serious problem. Acid Spray is not going to do anything on this thing. So he's just going to Thunder Wave Noodles. Nice and easy for him. Although I I was a little surprised that that thing was running Thunder Wave in the first place. So I was just going to Pain Split it. I was going to get that clean HP back. I was just going to, you know, share the love. Give, give him some of that love. You know, let, him not, let him know how it is. So I'm not going to stay in. No, 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 no. I'm going to go into my Glide Score real quick. Uh, he's gonna go for the sucker punch, and it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, I was actually predicting uh, maybe a knock, or say not maybe a knockoff, maybe like a brick break or a low sweep or something. So I just went into this. So that's actually not a bad switch at all. The only thing is Stealth Rush is gonna get rid of that, but I predict the switch and go for a Swords Dance because I know uh, he's not gonna stay on this. I, he's gonna probably gonna think I'm gonna run Earthquake. I do not run Earthquake on this Glide Score set. So that's a thing. He's getting you set up a substitute. I'm not about that life. He's gonna set up on me. I don't let people set up. I'm just gonna go for that knockoff real quick. I don't know. This is a plus two knockoff. Uh, I am a defog Caesar. At least I think I am. Maybe I am. No, I don't think. I, I don't think this one's de. I don't think this one's defog. So, um, he's gonna go for the Dragon Claw. He's gonna deal some damage. I'm just gonna go for the X Scissors. Like I said, very weird set. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why I ran X's back then, but I guess it did. Maybe when I gen this thing, I might have clicked the wrong button. I don't fucking know. I forgot to put Earthquake on him. But oh well. So I'm going to let him. This time, I'm going to go for the knockoff, the smarter play. And that, of course, is going to kill it. So he goes down. and get that nice, powerful poison here real quick. I got to gotta, gotta love your poison heal. So we're going to enjoy it, like I said before. Problem with this ice beam, I'm not about that life. I'm gonna switch out, or I'm gonna sack, but I'm not. <laughs> it was rather, it was rather interesting choice out of there. So I was gonna switch into noodles. I'm thinking maybe he's gonna switch out as well, but he does not switch. He goes for the ice beam once again. The black Greninja hit me up, so predictable. Ah, I'm just kidding. But uh, actually, I predicted that he would switch, but he did not switch. So he's gonna go for another ice beam. He's just gonna be like, fuck you, noodles. It's time for you to die, noodles. Oh, I'm gonna go for the pain split. Just gonna share just gonna share the love with Greninja real quick. 
and you know, you just gotta, you gotta, you just gotta tell me how it is. She's so got ice beam one more time, and noodles, noodles stays alive. Wow, six HP. The sludge bomb is gonna kill that Greninja, and I, in the sky call, if you could have heard, I was cold, I was laughing my ass off, cause that pain split helped me <laughs> with six HP. So we got noodles. I'm like, well, damn, this thing's just gonna kill me real quick. And uh, and no world is noodles gonna live this situation with six HP unless they use something like Calm Mind or some shit like that. So I'm gonna switch into Egg Roll because that's an easy ass switch. I can Aqua Jet, and, but nope, I do not Aqua Jet. I predict the switch, but he predicts the not predict, and so I go for that play rough. <laughs> so I honestly, I thought he was gonna switch, but he did not switch, and now I go for the Aqua Jet just to make sure I kill, and there we go. Because I'm like, ah, uh, hell no. So he's going to switch into his Melman, which is his Charizard. So I'm like, oh, damn, this is a problem. Because I know it's a Y, because in, in no universe where you switch in an X into me, uh, a fucking fairy drag or a fairy water versus a dragon fire is not a good situation for him. So he's going to get that sun boost. He, I know, I'm like, well, might as well Aqua Jet, because I have nothing to really switch into this. He still lives. He knows he's going to live. He's going to go for that solar beam real quick and wipe my ass out. Bring down the power of the sun. And there goes Egg Roll. He doesn't get the same sweep as he did last time. But oh well. So here we go with Nimbus. Now I know that this thing is powerful. And I predict that I'm going to live a flamethrower. I don't know why I thought of that. Um... In fact, I might have misclicked because I think I meant paralyzed. But oh well, I'm gonna swing that, or I'm gonna send out my Charizard because I know Blaze has got this shit. I'm like, ooh, you got this, man. I believe in you. I believe in you. But nah, man. That air slash coming through. You can deal some damage, but I'm like, nah, you're dying. You're dying. You're dying. You gotta die. You gotta burn. It's time for you to burn. So. I don't necessarily see um, a lot of a lot of fucking problems with uh, Charizard Y. I really like Charizard Y. Like, and I'm not, I don't know why I said that, but I mean like his look and all that shit. So I go down. So here we go. This is it. The final battle. He's gonna go for that sucker punch. But as you all know, my set is nice and powerful. It's that play, it's that fucking rough skin, and that fucking Rocky helmet coming through. The Dragon Claw still lives. Oh well. There goes the sunlight. And this is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't nothing but a thing. And because Rocky helmet, he goes down first. And that's that. Soon after I faint, and you defeated Chris. Now, there are a lot of weird things about this battle. Whether I won because of rough skin and all that shit, or he won. I counted it as a draw. It was a good battle. To the very end, uh, he predicted some of my plays. I predicted some of his plays. And that's just how the battle went. And in the end, it was a good battle. A lot of fun. I don't count it as a win. I count it as a draw. So, thanks for watching, people. I've been Shadows. If you want to go check out King Mel's stuff, it's in the description below. Give this man some love. Starting up on YouTube. He has a Twitch as well, and he streams, which is badass. Enjoying all this crystal, uh, his crystal randomizer and all that good shit. So thanks for watching, guys. I've been Shadows, and I'll see y'all later. Boop.